Okay, so I did a big shopping spree for Black Friday, and I just want to talk about some of the movies and stuff that I picked up. Some of this is technically from October as well, because they did a, there was a big sale then as well for where I shop for movies. So some of that stuff is in here too. It's just the highlights. It's I got mostly horror movies back when that happened, but the second day I went, I picked up a bunch of other like 4Ks and stuff like that. So that's kind of just intermingled with all this stuff here, but... Yeah, just want to do a little haul video for you guys today. Uh, got the Mothman Prophecies in DVD. No idea what this is. This is like $1 only. And for $1, I just want to satisfy my curiosity. I don't really buy DVDs. Like, it's just something I don't do just because at this point, most stuff is on Blu-ray. Unless I can't get it on Blu-ray or if it's like a weird release thing or something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just want to know what the heck the Mothman Prophecies is and... For one buck, I couldn't I couldn't say no to a bargain like that. Um, Army of Darkness. It's the uh, Blu-ray copy. It's the collector's edition because I'm a collector, I guess. Um, I love the Evil Dead trilogy. This has all three versions of the movie. So it has the theatrical, theatrical directors and international cut. International cut. I really can't talk today, can I? I found out that there was a 4K version of this just the other day. And I kind of wish I had held out to buy that instead of this one. But I highly doubt Army of Darkness is going to look that much better in 4K as opposed to Blu-ray. And so, you know, not a big deal. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm not upset by any means. I'm just like, dang it. Um, Everything Everywhere All at Once. I've heard great things about this. This was a recommendation that I got the um, 4K copy of it. Um, like, it was it was half off. So it was like only a few bucks. I've been meaning to watch this. It's probably the only big release from this year I haven't checked out yet. So I definitely want to watch that before Oscar season. I doubt it's going to go for any Oscars, but I'm hoping it does. Because you know, I it sounds like it's a weird, strange adventure. And I know I haven't seen it, but everyone I know is rooting for it. And I like those guys. So I'm going to root for it too, just because I like my friends. Uh, the Planet of the Apes trilogy, the new trilogy they did on 4K. Love this trilogy of films. It's really great. It's kind of like, I don't want to say it's underrated because a lot of people do like it, but I feel like when it was coming out, it was doing well. It was making money. No one really talks about it now. I've heard that there's rumors about them doing another Planet of the Apes film, but we'll see if that actually happens. But I definitely want to give this trilogy a rewatch because it's been years since I've watched Rise, Dawn. I don't think I ever actually finished War. Like, I don't know if I did. Um... We got John Wick on 4K. I, I thought I had the Blu-ray of this, but I didn't. And this was only two bucks. It was like $3.99 and it was half off. So for two bucks, I'm like, heck yeah, I'm going to pick up John Wick on 4K. I love these movies. I like the first one the most. I think it's the most rewatchable and I think it's the most concise of all of them. So if you have never seen John Wick, definitely give it a watch. Uh, Shape of Water on 4K. I love Del Toro. He's my favorite director. And I thought I had this already, but apparently I didn't. And, oh, dropped it. And, yeah, I mean, it already it looks phenomenal. And I can't wait to see what it looks like in 4K. And, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite movies. Really enjoy it. Um, Arrival on 4K. Sorry, I was trying to, it was falling on my hand. It was, yeah, anyways, uh, Arrival on 4K. I saw this in, I think I saw it in theaters. I don't know. But I've seen it, and it's it's amazing. And I, 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 I've been meaning to give it a rewatch. And, um... He's Dennis Villeneuve, Villeneuve, however, I don't know how to say it. He's a really, really good director, and his movies always look like they're always the peak of whatever visual composition they can be. Like, he's just, he's so good at what he does. And I still need to watch Blade Runner 2049. Everyone's been telling me to watch that movie since it's come out. But I, no, I want to watch Arrival again <laughs> in 4K first. Um, let's talk, I'll talk about these ones together. I got both Top Guns on 4K. Um, I re I got this one as a gift right before Black Friday. It's kind of a late birthday gift and looks amazing. If you haven't seen Top Gun in 4K, some stuff, I, I maintain not every movie has to be in 4K. Not every movie benefits from being in the highest definition possible. Top Gun Maverick does though. This movie looks phenomenal. Absolutely loved it in theaters. Saw it in IMAX the day it opened. Such a good experience. And we also have the original Top Gun. And I love the original Top Gun. I don't want to give my whole backstory with Top Gun. But 
yeah, I love Top Gun. It's one of my favorite movies. And yeah, I doubt it's going to look great in 4K, to be honest with you. But um, since I have the first one, I, I, I didn't own a copy of this. And it was only like three fifty. dollars So for that price, yeah, I'm going to pick it up. Uh, like I said, it was like a half off sale. And a lot of the Blu-rays and 4Ks were already dirt cheap. So I got a lot of this for, I got a lot of this for really, really cheap. Um, Enemy, which is a Dennis Villan Villanelle Villeneuve movie. These are right next to each other. I don't think they were supposed to be because it was like an alphabetical section. So somebody was looking for this and then I don't, I guess put it back. Have not seen this, um, but I like his all of his other work that I've seen. And I've heard that this is a pretty good thriller. Pretty like, tw it's full of good twists and stuff like that. And it's only 90 minutes long. A nice, oh, when I see a runtime of a movie of 90 minutes, it's perfect. All right, uh, speaking of short little fun flicks, uh, it's probably not, Enemy's not fun, I bet. It's probably Mind Melody. Grindhouse, it's the Grindhouse collection. Um, I've been looking for something like this. I know this was out there. I know I can go on eBay and buy everything immediately, but it's more fun to sit around and try to find stuff because, I don't know, I'm weird and feel like I want to feel like a pirate looking for treasure. But yeah, I mean, it's just the Grindhouse flicks. Um, I enjoy them. I know they're not great movies. I know they're not even... Like, like, there's a lot of problems with them, and I wish there is, they had so much potential to be so much more, but I still like them. Like, I can still enjoy them, and I like that this comes with all the special features and little doodads and extra bits that they filmed for the movie, so. Uh, these three I got on recommendations. I haven't seen any of them, but for two bucks a piece, I was gonna just bin them all and see what they look, get them all and see what they are like. Uh, Mother heard a lot of mixed things about this, but kind of just want to watch it and figure out what the heck it is. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Never seen it, but I've heard it's great. Who directed this? Uh, Michael. Okay, I thought it was somebody else who directed it. And Call Me By Your Name. Um, this same director has a movie coming out this month, or maybe next month, I think. And it looks amazing. It looks so good. So I want to give this a watch before watching that one, just because like, I kind of want to catch up on his filmography. Um, this, like... I've heard nothing but great things. Like, this is one of the best visual films, like, ever made. Um, it's a little weird that it's a movie about, like, a guy falling in love with a 17-year-old. It's a little strange, but, you know, whatever. I guess I'll have to just look past it. Uh, we got Spirited Away and Kiki's Delivery Service. I haven't seen Kiki's Delivery Service in years, so I just want to rewatch it just because it's been a long time. And Spirited Away, I've seen, I don't even know how many times, but... I just didn't own a copy and wanted to own a copy. I want to go back and rewatch a lot of the Miyazaki movies because I, I think I've seen them all, but it's been so long that I want to like refresh. Um, Upgrade, I got the Blu-ray of Upgrade. This is like from 2018, 2019. I saw this in theaters. Awesome movie. It was really, really good. It was like this cheap film, such an original. I don't even know if the idea was all that original. I mean, it was pretty original, but it was just really cool. It was a really cool sci-fi flick. I wish it had gotten more attention, but they just didn't. It got good reviews. It made its money. Everyone who saw it said it was good, but I don't know. I, I guess ever, after it came out, the director is probably doing something else now at this point. But yeah, it's a cool flick. I would highly, If you haven't seen Upgrade, just go watch it. Don't read any reviews or anything. Just kind of go into it. It's a great movie. Um, and that's kind of what I did, and I think it really helped watching it. Uh, we got, uh, these next two, I think these were just, like, defaults, like, I had to get them. Um, Lord of the Rings, the trilogy on 4K. I already own Lord of the Rings, the Blu-ray copy. I don't want to pull it out of my shelf, because that'll take time, and I'm lazy. But it's the gold case with, like, all three of them on the inside. It kind of, like, has that magnetic folding thing. If you're a nerd, you'll know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, I just didn't own them on 4K. Now I own two versions of the same trilogy. And yeah, I've heard, I popped this in just a little bit, just to go through some of the scenes and see how they look. Looks amazing. It's it's amazing how well these films hold up after all these years. Um, I, I'm sure if I watch them in 4K, I'll start noticing some weirdness with the goal. I'm not looking so great, but for movies that are over 20 years old, they look great. Uh, Back to the Future, the trilogy on 4K. I don't think I need to explain why everybody should own a a copy of Back to the Future Trilogy on 4K, so I'll just move on to the next thing. <clears throat> um, these are the last couple items. This was actually quite a bit of stuff now that I'm realizing it, and 
God, I spent too much money on all this crap. Um, I got Watchmen, the ultimate cut on 4K. I don't know why I love Watchmen so much. It's one of my favorite movies, and I can't really explain why I love it so much. So I got that on 4K. And this next item, I'm cheating again, because I know some of this was from Halloween, October sale. So I'm already cheating a little bit. That was, that was just a couple things here and there. I, I, I tried to just... For the most part, the rest of it's just on my shelf. I'm not going to show everything I got for Halloween. Just the 4Ks. This, I just bought because I saw. And it's kind of stupid. But I kind of like it. It might, it's not as dumb as Mothman Prophecies on DVD. We're not, we're not at that level. But we're, we're somewhere close to it. I got the <laughs> Collector's Edition of Watchmen. And this is such a weird, really, I just want to, the video's over at this point. So thank you for watching. Tell me what you Blu-rays and 4Ks or DVDs you got, if any, during this Black Friday season. I just want to talk about how weird this is. So I got this. And it's a collector's edition of the film, right? It's of the movie, but it's kind of like a lenticular cover, switches between the comic and the movie actors, right? So yeah, you open it up right here. And the first thing you see is a copy of the comic book. So cool. I, I this is probably my third copy of this book. I own, I own a, I own a yeah I own a paperback of it. Got a nice little hardcover of it right here. Nice version of this book. Cool stuff. R N. It's a Watchmen, right? Then you get to the bottom and it's got the little ribbon so you can lift up, and it's got the it's got a Blu-ray version of the Ultimate Cuts, special features, a DVD of the theatrical cut. And then the motion comic for the for the comic book. It's it's just so weird to me because like I'm I'm assuming that this is supposed to be for like big mega Watchmen fans, like people who love the movies and love the comic, but it's just strange to me to pair both of them up. Like I always I just find that so weird to pair both the movie and the comic book together because I don't know, like I I Watchmen's my favorite like probably my favorite book if I had to pick one. And because it's 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 great, right? But like, I feel like most hardcore Watchmen fans that I have talked to don't like the movie. And they have a lot of valid reasons why they don't like it. I recognize it's not a good movie. I just love it for some reason. And, but it's it's, it's just weird to me the pair of the movie with the book and call it a collector's edition because who's the collector? Are you, is this supposed to be for the movie fans or the comic book fans? Like, it's weird to me. I have another thing like that. It's, I'm, this is one of my prized possessions. It's the Sisterhood of Traveling Pants, limited edition. And it comes with both Sisterhood of Traveling Pants movies and the novel. So you get the novel with it. Um, these are really good movies, by the way. If you've never seen these films, pick them up. Um, pick them up on DVD. And I just I just find it weird to pair the book. I don't know. It's just a weird thing I've been thinking about. Um, I, I got this for actually pretty cheap, so that's why I had to get it. I also had to complete my Watchmen collection. Maybe I'll do a video on this one day. I've thought about it. About I own every version of Watchmen. Like, every release. And I kind of can't explain why. <laughs> so, yeah, but random end of video thing I just wanted to talk about. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said earlier, if you any last, any, are you still here, um... What'd you get for Black Friday? Anything cool? Um, I didn't, none of this was new. This was all used stuff, so um, I didn't get any. I, Top Gun Maverick was new, but that was a gift. But yeah, I mean, it was pretty good Black Friday haul. I think I got a bunch of stuff on 4K. Now that I have a 4K player, I'm trying to slowly transition a lot of my stuff to 4K buying only. Um, and it's it's been a great transition. 4K is, is, it is pretty good for the most part. Like I said, not everything should be 4K. But for the stuff that is, it looks great. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. You have a nice one. Bye.